Hey y'all, it's Marty, and I'm here today to tell you about three books that I've really been loving. The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Aterbi, and I will probably butcher that name throughout this entire video because it's so hard for me to pronounce. It's a beautiful name though. I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez, and Spin by Lamar Giles. These books all center around strong female characters. Um, they all face different issues, whether it be for their race, their gender, or even just familial expectations as, you know, everyone goes through with their parents as they start getting older. They also deal with like normal teen issues as well, so this is relatable for anyone. Um, reading about people who are just like us and different from us is super important because it helps to see different perspectives that someone may have on a same the same situation that we're in. And it also is important to be reading about strong women because it helps us to build women up instead of tearing them down, as so many times they are. Okay, so the first book that I have for you today is... The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Aturbe. And this book centers on Dita Kraus. She's a 14 year old girl living in Auschwitz. And every day she's just getting through. You know, she goes to school, which helps her a lot. Um, and she meets Freddie Hirsch, who is like the leader of all of the Jewish people within Auschwitz. And Freddie Hirsch has convinced all of the guards and all the people, you know, that run Auschwitz that it would be okay for him to start hosting school. And so Dita actually gets asked by him if she would like to be the keeper of the books. Um, and that's a very important role because as I'm sure most of you know, in Nazi camps, the Jewish people were not allowed to have anything, um, like anything personal. So for them to have books was a big deal. Well, Dita agrees, and she becomes the librarian at Auschwitz. She is actually a real person named Dita Krauss. Um, she survives the Holocaust in the end, and she is 91 years old now. Dita is strong and independent and courageous, which is an inspiration to everyone. Um, and even though she is just 14 years old, she overcomes so much in this book, and I'm sure in her real life, considering this is based off of Dita Krause's real life. And she is never backs down from what's right. She knows that it is very important for these books to remain safe and for these books to be able to be distributed to the teachers of the camp. Um, because that's how you know they're learning and they're growing and how they're teaching these kids. And even though she knows that her mother would not approve, she continues to be the librarian, which is, it's amazing. But if you enjoy historical fiction, as well as reading about strong women and the Holocaust, I highly recommend The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Aturbe. The next book that I have for you today is I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. So, I couldn't find my copy, so I had to print off the cover for you guys to show you what it looks like, and my printer is running out of blue. Um, so the cover of this book is actually a very pretty teal. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like book centers on Julia who is a Mexican-American living in Chicago 
yes, yeah, Chicago. I don't know why I forgot that for a second. Um, and um, she is nothing like her sister Olga, who her parents adore and look up to. Um, Olga is the perfect Mexican daughter. Uh, she went to community college and only ever had one boyfriend. Um, but when Olga suddenly dies in a tragic accident, um, Julia and her parents are pretty distraught. Um, so the book is mainly focused on Julia trying to kind of figure out who her sister is. Uh, because before her sister died, her and her sister didn't really have a good relationship. They kind of were just coexisting. Um, so Olga feel Olga. So Julia feels like she does not know anything about Olga really, and that's hard for her. She wants to figure things out, and through the help of some of her friends, she does that. Julia is smart and driven, and she's just trying to figure out who she is and find her place in the world. She wants to go to school, she wants a boyfriend, you know. She's trying to figure all of this stuff out just like any other teenager, all while, you know, living in Chicago and her sister just passed away and, you know, dealing with all of those things. Um, the book is really hard hitting and it draws you in. Um, it leaves you captivated by Julia and all of the things that she's going through. A big thing in this book is also mental health and it shows you that, you know, someone can look like everything's fine and it's completely not fine and they're just, they don't know how to cope. Julia's strained relationship with her parents is relatable for any teen. Um, just because they are trying to control her and she's trying to grow up and they don't see it as that they see it as her rebelling and going against what they want that is something that is relatable for any teenager um, if you enjoy books about Latinx people and you would like to read something about a strong woman overcoming obstacles including mental health you should definitely check out I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. Okay, the third and final book that I have for you today is Spin by Lamar Giles. This book actually centers on three strong female characters. Um, DJ Parsec, also known as Paris Secord, or Secord? I think it's Secord. Kaya and Fuse. Um, in the beginning, DJ Parsec is found dead, and the last two people that are seen with her are Kaya and Fuse, who are the people she also happens to be closest to. So if anyone knew what happened, it would be them, right? Well, they end up being blamed for her murder. Um, but they are forced to work together, though they are actually enemies, and they end up trying to crack the case together. This book is told from three different perspectives. All three of the girls are the three different perspectives, and each chapter really shows, like each chapter by each girl actually shows their personality through these words. And the story is very easy to read despite these different perspectives. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of these different perspectives, but because it's written from three different points of view and there is the personality there, it's very easy to follow. The three main characters are also women of color and they make it very relatable. The story is very relatable. All three of them come from such different backgrounds. Paris is just like a local DJ. And then Fuse is this rich person who 
you know, her dad's in the industry, and then Kaya is DJ Parsec's best friend, and seeing the three personalities mesh together within the chapters that give you so much background information, those, the, there's flashback chapters that are written from DJ Parsec's perspective, because as I said in the beginning, she's found dead, so all of the chapters with her in them are these flashback chapters and they really go into detail about the background. They tell all about the different relationships that DJ Parsec had with both Kaya and Fuse. There is also an audiobook version that is just as easy to follow because they have three different narrators for the three different characters. Um, all three of these girls are smart and driven and they don't let anything hold them back. So, if you love music and you love a good murder mystery, Spin by Lamar Giles is the book for you. These three books about strong women are perfect reads for any teen. Whether you're into historical fiction, music, or you just want something that's a little bit about mental health, then I highly suggest The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Aturbe. I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. And Spin by Lamar Giles. Happy reading.